Welcome to Action 10 News at 5. I'm Aran Hammy. Here at Gregory Portland ISD, parents are getting ready to go back to the norm of paying for their students' meals. But the school board has made a decision to help students and save some money for parents. Even though we're a small town, the small town still needs uh, the basic necessities to be met. Before the school year, Elsa Dominguez and other parents were told GPISD would have to start charging for lunches again. She has a son in 10th grade and a daughter in 6th grade. You make adjustments as a parent and you're okay making sure that the accounts you need to, are filled where they need to be filled. For the last five school years, federal funds from Hurricane Harvey Relief provided free meals to all students. Those funds will run out after this school year. After debating how much they would have to charge again, the school board said, hang on. They gathered the $1.2 million to feed all students for one more year. That's a great savings, you know, like I mentioned before, with inflation of food and, and gasoline. A little help that, that can be, be offered is, is always appreciated. We uh, are, are able to access some funds in our fund balance, as well as as we build out our budget for next year, we'll look at areas where we might be able to make some reductions in our expenditures. Superintendent Michelle Cavazos called it an investment in the students. When our students are fed, you know, they are able to be, pay attention even and learn their content even better. It's estimated this provides families a savings of $1,000 per student. Dominguez says you never know what families are going through. It's something that budget wise families can accommodate, but when you're offered, you know, a savings of $1,000 that can be allocated in other places and families needs. Cavazo says while they are thrilled to offer another year of free meals, they will have to start charging for those meals beginning in the 2023-2024 school year. Reporting in Portland, Iran Hammy, Action 10 News.